All right, uh, page 29, we're coming back and let's check the next problem. There were 4,342 buttons all together in three bags, A, B, and C. Okay, there were 18 more buttons in bag B than in bag A, and there were three times as many buttons in bag C as in bag B. All right, how many buttons were there in a bag A? <clears throat> when you start doing this kind of problems, all right, start again, which take each sentence and try to draw a model for this sentence. But the first of all, we know that there are three bags, so you can write it like this bag A bag B and bag C <clears throat> all right so the sentence number two they say there were 18 more buttons in bag B than in bag A so if we draw our bag A as one unit which we actually don't know right sorry it's a it's a question mark <clears throat> we don't know the bag B is gonna be the same to totally same unit plus the difference and this difference this difference is 18. 18. Now they tell us that in the back C, there were three times as many buttons in the back C as in back B, right? Which means we have to take this picture and we have to draw it three times. We draw our unit and we draw this difference of 18. We draw our unit, difference of 18. We draw our unit, difference of 18, right? These two, these actually three, all are 18s, our 18s, okay? And we know the total of all bags, 4,342. Please be careful with all your model drawings and interpretations. So what do we find? We, find, we can see clearly now in our picture that we have one unit, two, three, four, five. We have five units and we have this difference, sorry, difference of, of 18. We have one of it, one 18, second 18, 18, 18, 18, four times, right? 18 times four is 72. We find this difference of 18. Now to find our units, we take the total number and we subtract our 18s, 72, right? So the number is 4270. All right, <clears throat> after you do the math. These are all our total units. We have a total of four units, oh, sorry, five units. We have a total of five units and it is 4270. How much is one unit? You do the, you do the math and the unit is 4270 divided by 5, which is 854. The answer is there were 854 buttons in the bag A. And this is our question. Now, this is a Singapore method of solving the problems, model drawing. Now, what I want to teach you as an extra, right? is the sort of an adult way no one is drawing the models we are drawing equations so if we imagine three of our bags a b and c we can write it like this we can say that bag a is bag a right but our bag b is our bag a and 18 more buttons they say there were 18 more buttons in bag b than bag a so we can write it like this. Now we say that there were three times as many buttons in back C as in back B. So our back C is actually three times back B. Or we can say that it was three times and instead of this B, we put this A. Three times A plus 18. Okay? So this is what I do. I take back B and I take back C and I interpret it. I show it through the back A. Now we know that back A plus back B plus back C is equal 4,342.
right? <clears throat> now, instead of A, so this A is keeps the same, it's A plus. Instead of this B, we write A plus 18. We write this one. A plus 18, this is our B. Plus, instead of our C, we write this. Instead of our C, we write 3 times A plus 18. And this is our back C. And this is all total. 4,342. Okay? <clears throat> so we get this kind of equation. Right? We need to open the brackets first. And we can calculate this. A plus A is 2A. Plus... 18 plus how do we open this 3 times a 3a plus plus 3 times 18 3 times 18 54 equal 4342 all right 2a plus 3a is 5a 18 plus 54 is 72 How much is 5a? 4342. Mind, if you have a positive number here, and you need to bring this number on the other side of the equal sign. 4342, you change the sign. It's going to be minus 72. Right? Why minus? So if you say, I don't know, for example, 3 plus 2 equal 5, right? If you take this number and you bring it here, it's going to be 3 is equal 5 minus 2, right? And it makes sense. Okay, coming back to our problem, if you didn't know this, so if you, if you bring the number on the other side, you need to change the sign. 5a, what is our 5a? 4342 minus 72. 5a is uh, 4,270. Right? And our A is, divided by 5, 854. This is our answer. This is kind of an extra for advanced students. Uh, this is the way adults would solve the problem. We're not going to draw the model drawing. But as you can see, we have the same, totally same answer. The bag A, 854. Alright. Okay. We continue with page 30. Uh, let's read our problem. Lewis had 135 action figures, Sam had 990, and Jane 570 action figures. After Jane gave an equal number of action figures to both boys, Sam had four times as many action figures as Lewis. How many action figures did Jane have left? Okay. When you see this kind of problems, when you see the words before and after, you see some kind of uh, things happened, right, sorry, what's going on, yeah, okay, all right, we're in, sometimes it lags, apologize, okay, so when you see, you clearly, you know, there will be something that was before, and clearly there's something that will be after, so we need to understand what was before, before there were three kids, there was Louis, and then Sam, and then Jane. Okay, because you know the numbers, your models should look appropriate, right? So you make a very small sized 135, right? And you have big one, big block, which would be 990, and you have a middle size block which will be 570 this is your model before these are all your all your blocks before afterwards what's changed is that first you need to draw you need to write so there are same kids we need to understand what kind of things happened what changed so what changed is that Jane she had this amount, the same, the same block, right? 
but now we erase this and we draw a smaller block we don't know how much is this and she lost she lost two units two same units one went to Lewis and one went to Sam okay so what happened then Lewis had his 135 and he had this extra let's do it like this he has this extra unit from Jane now Sam right Sam had four times as many action figures as Lewis we take this and we draw it four times so it is some unit plus what he got from Jane unit plus he was he got from Jane unit plus he got for Jane unit I need to I need to color them otherwise we're not gonna understand the unit <coughs> and what he got from Jane okay so these units 990 <coughs> this is what happened okay Sam got this extra unit from Jane right and after that he had four times more than Lewis which we illustrated four similar to Lewis units okay all right let's let's think about it now we have our differences right we have our difference of 135 over here right our difference of 135 four times one two three four four times is 500, 540 in order to understand the units now these units sorry getting messy but i'm, I'm sure you can follow 990 what sam had my one is 140 is 450 okay now our 450 is this three units 450 divide by 3 150 right and then 150 times 2 this is what Jane gave this is one unit and second unit this is what she gave away one unit two times is 300 right and what she had before we know she had 570 before minus the units that she gave away to you to Lewis and Sam and we get 270 270 action figures left Jane had 270 action figures left.